Hello all. So this is uh, the assessment problem 4.4, uh, which uh, which also involves the usage of the dependent voltage source here. So in last question, we have seen how to uh, solve the questions which uh, which has. Uh, the dependent current sources now here we have another dependent source which is the uh, voltage source which is dependent upon the current uh, provided by this 10 volts so in order to uh, again uh, solve this question uh, we have to use the node voltage method so what is the statement here so we have to uh, use the node voltage method to find the value of this v naught okay so uh, in order in order to find the value of this v naught uh, by using the node voltage method we have to identify the uh, nodes here so here this is our node number one this is the node number two this is node number three and again this one this overall is basically a node number uh sorry this this is node number four so again we are considering node number four as a reference node so in order to use this one as a reference node let me draw it again so in order to draw the equivalent circuit here this is the 10 ohm resistor this is the 20 ohm this is the 40 ohm okay uh, so these are our resistors similarly here at this point the voltage source of 10 volts is connected here uh, and the other resistor is is this one which is of 30 ohm and similarly here a dependent source which is of this polarity and the value of is is 20 i del and the i del is basically this current which is provided by this 20, uh, 10 volt source okay and this one let me call it our reference node okay so this is the equivalent circuit in which we have four nodes one is taken as the reference node while the other three were used to solve this question okay so um, the voltage at uh, the node one let me call it v1 the no voltage at the node two let me call it v2 and the voltage at the third node let me call it v3 okay so uh, as it is clear here the two voltages which are v1 and v3 these are already given here okay so we can see that the value of v1 here is already given and the value of v1 is basically this 10 volts okay similarly the value of um, uh, the voltage at v3 is also given and that is the minus 20 i del okay so this is already given so now we just have to find the value of this v2 so um, in order to find the value of this v2 which is also the v naught we should have the values of v1 and v3 and the value of v3 is dependent upon this i delta so in order to find the value of i delta this is the i delta and it basically when it flows here it divides into two currents let me call these currents as i a and i b so the value of let me solve it first the value of i a is i delta is i a plus i b okay so the value of i a is this current which is v1 minus uh, v2 the value of i a is v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance between them 10 and similarly the value of um, i b is v1 minus v3 divided by 30 this current okay these are the two currents this current here so this is now v1 minus v3 divided by 30 
okay uh, this is the i delta so uh, let me solve it for uh, these values so i delta is equal to do we know the value of v1 yes this is at 10 but the value of v2 is unknown divided by 10 similarly the value of v1 is again sorry this is uh, 10 and the value of v3 is uh, similarly uh, minus 20 i del all divided by 30 okay um, again taking uh, the lcm again uh, taking the LCM and solving it this would be 30 and similarly 3 multiplied by these two terms 30 minus 3 v2 similarly it would become 10 and uh, plus 20 i del okay this multiplying both sides by 30 and uh, adding similar terms here rearranging it i will get the 30 i del equal to this 40 minus 3 v2 uh, plus 20 i del okay um, moving it to the other side i will get uh, the 30 i del minus 20 i del equal to the 40 minus 3 uh, v2 okay it would become um, 10 i del equal to the 40 minus 3 v2 again now dividing both sides by 10 i will get i del equal to the 4 minus 0.3 v2 so let me call it equation a this is my equation a and in this equation i have find out the value of i del uh, to with which others the one of my sources is dependent okay so let me go here and, and now let me consider this note okay this note here note way to so okay at node v2 we have these currents which are modeled here so let me call it i1 i2 and i3 okay so according to the kcl again the summation of i1 i2 and i3 is equal to zero okay so putting values here i1 is equal to the potential difference divided by the resistance similarly what is the value of i2 the value of i2 is v2 minus 0 divided by 40 or v2 divided by 40 similarly the value of i3 is v2 minus v3 okay all divided by the 20 this is equal to 0 so uh, now here let me write the solution here uh, taking the LCM here the LCM here would be 40 so this would become 4v2 minus 4v1 plus v2 plus uh, here it will be 2v2 uh, because now 2 will be multiplied with these terms 2v2 minus 2v3 this is equal to 0 so uh, multiplying both sides by 40 this side will become uh, 0 so 2v 4v2 this 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 will become uh, 7v2 uh, yes 7v2 
this will be 7v2 and similarly minus 4v1 and uh, 5 plus 2 is 7 yes and minus 2v3 uh, this is equal to 0 so putting values here this is the v2 the value of v1 is basically 10 and the value of v3 is 20 i del 2 minus 20 i del equal to 0 okay so uh, this is my question so moving along uh, putting values here 7 v2 minus 40 plus 40 i del equal to 0 okay uh, 7 v2 plus 40 i del equal to the 40 putting the value of i del here i will get 40 minus 0 0.3 v2 equal to 40 and 7 v2 plus 160 minus uh, how much would it be it will be i think 12 v2 yes this is equal to 40 yes so it will become minus 5 v2 equal to the minus 160 plus 40 or ultimately i will get 5 v2 equal to the minus 120 and which will ultimately give me the value of v2 which is the 24 volts so this is basically the value of v2 and we can see that the value of v2 is basically the same value which is developed across this resistance okay so this is the same resistance so that's why the value of v naught is equal to v2 and that is 24 volts so this is the answer of this question so that's it uh, for today and i will see you uh, with a new question and with a new video very soon thank you so much